guys, I have two quick unboxings to do. Uh, Josh and I are out at the moment. We are at a bank. Well, he just went into the bank and we're headed off to Home Depot to go get stuff for the house and do some other little errands. So I brought along these two things so I can share them with you while we're out. First of all, um, I'm going to start with this ring that I bought from a store called the Irish Gem. I think that's what it's called. I only just discovered them because I was looking for a ring to replace whatever I had here. I, I used I wear rings on almost every single finger and I lost this one somehow and I keep ordering this one awesome looking spider ring from Wish, but Wish has turned shittier than they ever were. I've actually debated doing a, a video on them, but it, it would just be me bitching for like 20 minutes, so I haven't done it. They are just awful. At, um, other people have had bad experiences, but I had had pretty good experiences with them until recently. I can't get anything sent to the house, and when something is sent to the house, it's actually really, really shit, whereas before it was quite usable, cheaply made, but you get what you pay for. It was still, you know interesting to see what you got, you know, knockoff versions of stuff or whatnot. But anyway, I gave up trying to order this ring from Wish, and so I discovered this this one. Now, this is a black uh, gunmetal musinite, I don't know what the fuck you call it, uh, ring with skulls on it, similar to my wedding ring, but quite different. Now, I'm able to show you guys the difference between a cheap skull ring and a good skull ring. This was under $20. This is exactly what I wanted it for. Just a, a little ring to wear on my finger. Nothing big, nothing flashy, nothing too extreme, and nothing expensive. So I don't mind that it's cheap. I really don't. I, I'm the kind of person that likes cheap stuff. I love, love going to Goodwill. I love yard sales. I love Walmart. I was raised on secondhand clothes and dumpster diving, you know, my mom raised me that way and I've just always preferred to buy a whole bunch of cheap things rather than one really expensive thing. So if I can get away with it, I always buy the cheapest thing I can find. Um, let me move on and show you. This ring is actually really beautiful, even though it's not, you know, high, high quality. I have this on the back of a sign because I tried to make this video before and I'm wearing pajamas and because the pajamas patterned, it wouldn't focus on the ring. So I'm going to try it this time. So, um, this is what the ring looks like. It is quite nice. It is actually really nice. I don't know how well it'll hold up. I, I know that this will come off pretty easily, but like I said, that's fine. It, it does its job. I might have to push that down. It looks like that's, that, that might be standing up a little bit. It'll get caught on my clothes on one side, so I'll, I'll end up pushing that down. But these are the skulls. See, they're, they're kind of cartoony. The skull, two skulls and crossbones. And then holding up the gem are more skulls. Sorry about that. We're on to the next destination here in front of the Home Depot. Anyway, as I was saying, I don't really remember exactly what I was saying, but um, this this ring here, yeah, the skulls are not, they're not great quality. They're kind of cartoony looking. It's, you know, as you would expect. This is the quality of most of the other skull rings, similar to my wedding ring, that you will find on sites like Julia, Wish, every other Asian site out there. There are so many knockoffs of the ring that I actually got as my wedding ring, but this is what they usually do look like. They're just not very detailed, you know, not great quality skulls. Whereas my wedding ring, this is what it looks like. There is a great amount of detail, high shine in the stone. The skulls are hand carved and it just looks so, so good. This ring is absolutely beautiful. This other ring is pretty too, but it is exactly what I wanted. But you can see the difference instantly. So the other skull rings that are not from the side I bought it from do not look like this. They look like this. 
and I know that's not the same design, but this is what you can expect if you go to any other site besides the one I went to. Um, I'm sure there are other sites that have really nice rings like this, but you have to be very, very careful. Look at the pictures clearly. So this is uh, my first unboxing. Now let me put my rings on and I will open the second one. All right, now this is from a site called Purgatory Playthings. You might have heard from them, you might not have. Uh, everything that they send you from their site comes in a wooden coffin box like this. So that is really cool. It is a nice touch. Uh, I'm going to stain this and paint it, and of course I'm going to keep it. This is a necklace. I did open it because I was just so eager to see what it looked like. Uh, and now I've got the lid stuck again. Ugh. <laughs> I need two hands for this. One second. Okay, so I've got this open now. This is the box, and my necklace is inside. This is a beautiful necklace. I forgot what it's called. It's quite large. This is what it looks like in the bag. And this is what it looks like outside of the package. It actually looks a lot nicer than I thought from the pictures. From the pictures, it looked a little lumpy. Um, the background looked a little lumpy, like it wouldn't be all that great, but it actually is. Um, it's really lightweight. The teeth look real as hell. And I think it's just really striking and beautiful. Oops. The shipping was pretty quick. It came fairly fast. And, uh, I just really think that this looks amazing. And that's it. Josh is back in the car now. <laughs> you always roll your eyes on camera. I don't roll my eyes on camera. I know. So, yeah. So, that's that. And, um, we will see you next video. Mm -hmm. Say bye. 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 <laughs>